So let's continue with our conversation from where we ended last week about the corona outbreak that started in China and has spread um, like everywhere around the world. So um, my question to you is like, do you think the expert and the scientists um, really understand what is going on due to the way the thing is spreading? Yeah, I think so. You know, when uh, there is an outbreak like this, the scientists try to follow a systematic scientific approach to get an antidote to these uh, viruses. If you could even cast your mind back when uh, we had this uh, Spanish influenza, the scientists administered a vaccine, they made a, a vaccination, but then it was a wrong vaccine because of the drastic approach they took. And now it even brought out a different disease to all those who were vaccinated. So when there is an outbreak like this, they take their time to make research. This is health we're talking about here. Yeah. To make research so they can get a, a, a good antidote to stop the outbreak. Oh, right. But uh, my worry is uh, if the scientists uh, are saying that uh, the virus keep evolving and they are learning new things about the virus as the days goes by. Um, how worried should we, the common people, be? Uh, we, the common people, should know how dangerous the virus is. But then, I love the word you use, they are still learning. This means we also have to learn. Now, if they are learning to bring out an antidote, we have to learn how to protect ourselves and prevent ourselves from contracting uh, the virus. Yeah. Um, so from my understanding, uh, there have been just a few reported cases of this virus in, uh, in Africa. So should we, the Africans, do something? This is the most dangerous virus ever. Right? Europeans never thought it would to report to them. Exactly. The way just they came. And I think even uh, Italy, it's more is there are many people infected? Yeah, a lot of people are infected. You know, so this is the time Africans have to take all the preventive measures very serious. Exactly. Washing their hands frequently, you know, staying a meter away from someone who's trying to cough or sneeze. Yeah. And then also the behavior, you know, trying to cook meat very thoroughly before you eat, eat them. Yes, yeah. Or even abstain from meat at all. And try to get other source of protein. Oh, I yeah. see. I see. And uh, sir, I know you are from Africa and uh, you know how the institutions in Africa functions very well. And uh, many will argue that the reason Africa is reporting such a low figure of infected um, cases is due to the way our systems are like our medical systems are not really that functional and things are not really organized in a proper manner. So um, what can you say to that as an African? Uh, those who say that are uh, people who are ignorant about the system in Africa, especially the medical system. There was Ebola and how did we got to the bottom of it? Exactly. So, there is a reported case in Nigeria just this 27th of February, right? And uh, it's an Italian who is living in Lagos, which is a city in Nigeria. And uh, he just came back from Milan and he was tested positive by the virology department. Yeah. In the hospital of Nigeria, how did they, how did they detect the virus? The virus? That means the system is well organized. Exactly. So I that we are not putting up proper behavior, especially when the education comes in. People do not adhere to the education, to the preventive measures until there is an outbreak. Then the mortality rate becomes a lot. Mm -hmm.